Um, in this video we're going to look at the slope of lines. Okay, So if we look at what's in this green box here, we can see, first of all, if we have a line that's going up like that, that has a positive slope. Okay, It'll always have a positive slope. If we have a line that's going down like that, it will have a negative slope. If we have a line that's going straight across, it has no slope. Okay? And just think of, you know, if there's flat ground, well, there's no slope on it. Okay, Going down the way, negative slope. Going up the way, positive slope. Um, the steeper the line, okay, so if it's going up like this, oh, sorry, okay, so if we have a line going up like that versus a line going up at this, at this angle, well, we can say that this line will have a steeper slope than that line. And if I was to give a number to show that slope, the number that shows the slope of this line would be a higher number than that line. Okay. Um, you'll see now, obviously, when I'm doing it. Right. There's two ways of getting the slopes of lines. We can use two methods. We can use the rise over run method, or we can use the formula method. Um, I'll show you each. So the formula method. Well, let's say I want to get the slope of this line. Okay. First of all, I'll take two points on that line. So one would be minus 7, 6, and the other would be minus 4, 2. Okay. So minus 7, 6, minus 4, 2. Label my, my points x1, y1, x2, y2. Throw them into this formula then. So we have my y2, which is 2 minus 6 over x2 minus 4 minus minus 7 that will equal 2 minus 6 is minus 4 that's minus 4 plus 7 so that will equal minus 4 over 3 so there's a slope, minus 4 over 3 that's a negative slope because there's a minus there um, and you could change it into minus 1 and 1 third if you want it, okay? And look, that line is going down the way, so yes, it's a negative slope. There's another way of doing it, which is the rise over run method. Um, I'll do that for, let's say, this. Right, so we pick a point on the line, let's say here, and I'll run um, however many spaces. Let's run two spaces. One, two, so I'm going to have to run to three. Now, I want to see how many I have to rise to get back onto that line. So I have to run in two, and I have to rise one, two, three, four, five, six. So I ran two, and it goes uh, six. So much. So I run goes on the bottom. So I run two, and I rise six. And six over two is three. Positive three. So the slope of that is three. So you can use whichever method you want. Okay. Um, let's do it for this one. Okay, we'll use the rise over run method again. You're going to get the same answers. Okay. Um, right, here we go. So the point here is 2, 2. I am going to run so 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, to 6. And I have to rise 1, 2, 3. So run 4, rise 3. So run 4, rise 3. The slope on this is 3 over 4. The slope on the other one was 3, so as I said, the steeper the slope, the bigger the number. Okay, so this steeper slope, hence bigger number. One more then. Uh, this, remember I said flat lines or horizontal lines do not have a slope. No, they, sorry, they have a slope of 0. Okay. So let's start, we'll do the rise over, uh, we'll do the rise over run method. Okay. So we'll run start here, we run up to 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so run 5, now I don't actually have to rise at all, so it's 0, and 0 over 5 is 0, so slope is 0, if I did it this method, I would still get 0, right, so it um, doesn't matter which method you use, let's just do one more, and do this with the rise over run method as well, so this one, I'll start here, now I'm going to run, but I'm going to run backwards. So it's 1, 2, 3, again, 1, 
root two, three, so I ran back three, so I ran minus three, and I rose one, two, three, four, four over minus three, which was minus one over the third, and remember we got minus one over the third when we did it here as well. Also, if I started on the top, and I, I suppose, rose down the way, well, it would be minus one. Okay, so um, hopefully that makes sense, lads. Right, so lastly, um, two things we need to know. First of all, parallel lines have the same slope. So if we look up here, we have two parallel lines, they have the same slope. So let's check. Well, I'm going to run two, so one, two, and I have to rise one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's 2 over 7, that's that slope. Let's do this one. Run 2, right side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So yeah, same slope, hence they're parallel. So if you're asked to prove two lines are parallel, just find both their slopes, see if they're the same. If they are the same, you can say slopes are parallel, therefore, sorry, slopes are the same, therefore the lines are parallel. Next one then, perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are when they cross, they make a right angle. And the thing here is, when you get the slope of both lines and you multiply them, they'll give you an answer of minus 1. So if we want to show that these are perpendicular, get the slope of that line, then get the slope of that line, multiply the two slopes together, and I should get minus 1. Um, just one other thing I want to show you. Let's say the slope of this line, okay, when we actually find it, we rise, sorry, we run two, and we rise down the way, so run two, and rise down the way, one, two, three, four, five. So that's the slope. I want to find the slope of this. Okay. Well, a quick way of doing it is take that slope. If I know this is perpendicular, okay, so if I know that other line is perpendicular, then I just turn this slope upside down, two over five, and I change one side. Okay, so I change the top or the bottom, not both. So the slope of this line I found was 5 over 2. Well, if this one is perpendicular to it, then its slope is minus 2 over 5. Okay. And um, if you multiply this by this, you'll get minus 1 again. Okay, so thanks for that.